You guys are gonna be you wanna be a part of a YouTube video? Okay, let's greet everyone on YouTube really quick. Hi everyone, welcome to uh, this YouTube video that I will be posting later that we recorded live on Twitch. We are going through the patch notes and going to do a quick commentary on uh, the patch notes for season 10 of Sea of Thieves. Now, we all know that guilds is releasing. So we got this new feature called guilds, which is awesome. We're doing a lot of that stuff, uh, a lot with the guilds, especially on the Hit Crew Discord. So if you want to be a part of that, join the Discord. You can be a part of an awesome guild called the Meme Fleet. Um, that being said, it's 24 max, which is cool. Anyone can create, anyone, you just got to pledge a ship, yada, yada, bloody bloody. Now let's get to the real meat and potatoes of season 10. Season 10 rewards and plunder pass. Okay, so we got new rewards, cool beans, new cosmetics. Yada yada, new ledger stuff, blah de blue de blue. Chest of Fortune. For the duration of season 10, the Chest of Fortune has been locked away in the vault of the Fort of the Damned. It can only be attained by triumphing over this formidable encounter. Well. Not my favorite. To be honest, can I be honest with you? Not my favorite. I did not want to see the chest of fortune going to the Fort of the Damned. The Fort of the Damned is boring, and I, I don't know. I, I'm just, it's, we, it, it released October 16th, 2019, okay? Oh, man. Not, I mean, it's, I, I would rather have kept it in the Fort of Fortune, to be, to be fair. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of bored with the Fort of the Damned. I'm, I'm glad it moved, though. That's nice. At least it moved. Now we're going to steal, what, Chest of Fortunes at the Fort of the Dam? There's going to be so much that we have to steal at the Fort of the Dam now. It's like, uh, ah, uh, man, bummed about that one. But we get some new cosmetics. Okay, cool. Fates of Fortune clothing. Awesome. Chest of Fortune, the Fort of the Damned. You know what I would have loved to see? It go into a voyage. Go into a gilded style, like gilded Athena style voyage. That would have been awesome. Truly incredible. All right. Well, it is what it is, I guess. Moving on. In Season 10, uh, okay, more Fates of Fortune vanity items. Okay, so the Reaper chest, more items. Combat improvements. Season 10 is the era of the Sword Lord. Double gunners are getting absolutely wrecked because quick swapping is gone. So it looks like we got some hit detection improvements. Hopefully we see that. 9 out of 10 shots, everybody. Sword combat flow. This is a big deal. Okay, big, huge, awesome, amazing deal. Improvements have been... Made up to flow uh, for the sword combat where two opponents are dueling, ensuring that the player who lands the first strike retains the upper hand, which means people cannot attack me through my attack if I swipe them first with a sword, which is awesome. And then an attacker landing the first strike, yeah, defends, retains the upper hand, which is awesome. Sword block improvements. They're saying that it is now better for sword blocking, which is great. Let's all let's all go with the sword block. This is awesome. And then there's some sword hit detection improvements where you will no longer feel like you you see someone getting hit and and you know they don't get hit. We'll see. We'll see about that. Hopefully that that works. And then here's the here's the one. Can we get some Fs in the chat, everybody? Can we get some Fs in the chat for all the double gunners out there? Because there's some big sad about this. For all of them, they're no longer able to perform a technique called cancel weapon wield animation. Oh, F's in the chat for you guys. We love you, but long live the Sword Lords. Okay, uh, controller aim assist? Excuse me? Controller players on PC will not have... Controller players on console and PC will not have access to aiming assist. Improving balance between controller... Hey, that's great! Let's freaking go, that's huge! That is big. Players using aim assist have access to range of settings to refine the synergy of both hit fire and aim down sights independently. And can also choose whether this applies to members of an alliance to better configure the experience for their liking. Wow. Dang. All right. I like it. GG's controller players. I like it. I'm in. Colorful rowboats. We get colorful rowboats in season 10, chat. All right. Whatever. Cool. Saving rowboats. Cool beans. We're gonna save them to our boat. Awesome. Repairing rowboats. Oh my goodness. Players can now repair a damaged rowboat with a plank in hand. The sizable crack in the floor of the boat can now be patched, rescuing it from a murky fate. This is freaking huge. Are you kidding me? Rowboats docked to a captain's ship can now be repaired by the shipwright 
for free, leaving a game session with a damaged rowboat. Docs will also repair it. That's crazy. How come they didn't talk about this? Why did we not? What other what other hidden gems are in here? Retaining supplies following disconnection. Players who are offered the chance to rejoin a session after being disconnected from the game due to a sudden exit, game crash, or network issue will now find that the supplies in their inventory are retained, allowing them to pick up exactly where they left off. I'm more excited about this than guilds. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Killstone links the five, get the subs. I'm more excited about this than guilds. That's amazing. Mermaids during Hourglass of Fate battles. Players who find themselves in the seas during Hourglass of Fate will now find the mermaids appear much sooner and closer, helping them return to their fight more quickly. Cool. Collector chest improvements. Players holding a collector chest can now scoop up small treasures directly from the ground, like, like Pac-Man, allowing them to store items more quickly. Okay, cool. That's pretty crazy. Clear all map markers. Yeah, cool beans. Cashing in recovered resource crates. So oh, you can now. Oh, it looks like. <laughs> it is beautiful. It is worth crying. Uh, crews who recover stolen resource crates are now able to send them back to the merchant alliance. So you can sell crates now. Cool beans. That's great. What a great quality of life change. Thank you, Rare. Uh, extra cooking stoves. Big. Each ship now. Each ship now offers two stoves for players to cook up a hearty meal for their crew. That is a big deal. Why are we not talking about this? These are like the hidden features of season 10 right now. It's crazy. First crate uh, con fruit. Sorry, I can read. <laughs> it's early. Fruit crate contents. Fruit crates purchased from the Merchant Alliance will now contain a variety of fruits instead of just bananas. Okay. Bait key binding. Oh, what? Keen anglers can now assign a keybind to their bait, allowing them to cycle through the different bait types and be ready to cast more quickly. Or thieves will now be able to eat bait and puke in people's faces. Oh my goodness. This is huge. Okay. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. I love all of these small changes. I don't even care about the guilds right now. Guilds is cool. Don't get me wrong. But those are way better, in my opinion. The only the only part about this that I'm genuinely bummed about is this chest of fortune. I hate that it's in the Fort of the Damned. I hate doing the Fort of the Damned. It's so boring. It's the same thing over and over and over again. We've been doing the same thing since October 16, 2019, when it was released. All of those little changes in, C in Season 10 are actually crazy. This might be one of the, my favorite updates. Read the line. Read the line. Players in close proximity. Blah, 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 blah. You want us to read? You want us to final? Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. In areas of intense movement simulation, players may experience firing shots or striking a target that subsequently do not cause damage to their target. Everyone, repeat after me. While small improvements to hit detection continue to arrive in our regular updates, we are continuing to investigate and identify further larger and scale improvements to improve the player combat experience. Update is, uh, a suite of improvements that are continued to monitor. Bloody, 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 blah. Cool.